What's up y'all and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna do a little cooking video for you guys. I have been trying to incorporate more plant-based meals into my diet. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. What I've been liking for breakfast is I like a quinoa bowl. So to make this meal, it's super quick and super easy. You just take one cup of quinoa or half a cup of quinoa. I always like to make more so that I can meal prep for the next day. And then I like to rinse off some fresh berries. Today I am using um, raspberries as well as strawberries. And to get some more protein, I'm gonna also add some walnuts as well as some hemp seed. And then to make it a little bit more sweet, I'm gonna just add some organic agave on top. Using quinoa as a base for all my breakfast meals has been kind of a thing this last month. Um, I really like it because it's super versatile. You can do like an avocado bowl with it. But recently in the mornings, I've been doing different melodies of fruit. As I mentioned, I'm using strawberries and raspberries this morning, but I use blueberries, bananas, mangoes, just pretty much anything that I have on hand. And just to add a little bit of crunch and texture, I add some walnuts. And then hemp seed is super, super packed with protein and it does keep you full. And even though my berries sweeten up my breakfast, I'm gonna add some organic agave. And I got this from Costco and I love this agave, it's my favorite. My next meal I kind of use as a snack slash even a meal depending on how many I make. But I have been experimenting trying to make my own spelt or rye or garbanzo bean um, breads and tortillas and flatbreads and stuff like that. So for this meal I use quinoa flour and spelt flour. I'm not going to go ahead and put the ingredients and the measurements yet because I haven't really perfected the recipe. To put on top of this I'm going to go ahead and make a hummus. Hummus is super quick and super easy to make. It adds extra flavor when you're making any type of breads or if you're like an avocado toast connoisseur. It's another way to spice up your bread. Adding about two cups of chickpeas, sea salt to taste, one tablespoon of ginger, two tablespoons of onion powder, and two tablespoons of organic olive oil. Then I like a lot of citrus in my hummus, so I'm gonna add about a fourth a cup of lime juice. To be honest, I really never measure too much of anything. I like to do everything to taste, um, but I like a lot of citrus in my food, so I add a lot of lime. And then in the Ninja, I'm gonna go ahead and mix everything together. It takes a few times, and you're gonna have to like um, get some of the chickpeas that are on the side and mash them down. Sometimes I go in and I add some extra olive oil and then if the consistency isn't to my liking, I'll add some spring water or some more lime juice or whatever type of liquid I'm using. I have been experimenting making my own hummus. Um, I've been making roasted red pepper hummus, avocado hummus, chipotle hummus, buffalo hummus. Hummus is one of those things where you can honestly just make it your own. And making my own breads and wraps has been something I have been experimenting with too. And it has been one of those things I have to just do trial and error. So currently this dough has been resting for about like an hour. I have been trying to work on the consistency of the dough, but I just go ahead and knead it and I add some extra flour on top so that it's not as sticky. This particular blend is spelt flour as well as quinoa flour and I added some sea salt, um, a little bit of grapeseed oil, um, some oregano, some sage, as well as basil. I'm gonna be making like a mushroom hummus toast. So I'm gonna just make one little slice rather than a whole loaf just for the sake of the video. I put some grapeseed oil on top. I top it off with some parsley and onion salt and I put it in the oven on 350 degrees and I leave it in the oven for anywhere from about 5 to 15 minutes. It all depends on the thickness that I knead it out to as well as the texture and consistency I want the bread to be. If I want it to be more crispy then obviously I would leave it in longer. If I want it to be a little bit more soft and chewy then I would leave it in for um, a shorter amount of time. 
And to top off the hummus toast, I'm gonna have some sauteed mushrooms. So I take a herb blend as well as some sea salt and I saute it with some grapeseed oil. And for this particular meal, I went ahead and I left the bread in for about 15 minutes so it's nice and toasty. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add the hummus that I made earlier in this segment of the video. And I like to also top it off with different things, whether it be tomato, today I'm using a sprouted onion blend, um, and then going ahead and topping it off with our sauteed mushrooms. So after I've made the hummus, I go ahead and put that right onto the bread. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my sauteed mushrooms and onions. And then go ahead and garnish it with some fresh herbs. And it's really ready to eat. And I'm ready to enjoy it. The next meal is actually a uh, camu bowl. Um, camu is an ancient grain from Egypt and it's it looks like brown rice but it's actually thicker and it has a harder shell on the outside. I love it and they also have camu cereal and camu flour. And for this bowl I, I take my sauteed kale and then add my bell peppers and grilled onions. And then I'm gonna also use the hummus that I used in the last video and top that onto the side. And on top, I'm gonna add some organic olives and of course, add some avocado. Honestly, because I'm always on the go and I pretty much have to meal prep at least two of my meals, this has been like my holy grail. It's kind of similar to um, my old obsession with Chipotle where I just get a bowl and put a whole bunch of different ingredients in and put a nice sauce inside and it tastes good and I could pretty much eat it every single day. So I'm going to add some bell peppers and some grilled onions into this bowl. I really love super charred onions so I like to put my oil on high heat and then put the onions inside. I don't like them to cook all the way through, I just want them to be charred on the outside. And then because I like my bell peppers to be a little bit more crunchy and I don't like them to be too soft, I add the bell peppers after about two to three minutes of the onions being inside of the saucepan. And then to make the texture of the kale a little bit more soft, I'm adding some grapeseed oil and on low heat, I am putting my fresh kale in just to add a little bit of softness to the kale. I don't keep it in for a long time because I do like, so I like to lightly cook it in some oil and I don't have to add any seasoning. So here I have the kamut, or kamut, 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 however you pronounce it. Then I am adding my lightly sauteed kale. Then I'm adding the onion and bell pepper mix. and some organic olives and the hummus from the last video. And pretty much all of my meals have avocado on it, especially when it comes to a bowl. And then just topping it off with some parsley and annoyingly mixing it all together because the hummus really makes this bowl super good. It adds the flavor and adds the newness. So pretty much I make different hummuses every single week just to make it fresh and, and I mix it all together and it's ready to eat. It's quick, easy, and I can eat this on the go. This salad is something that I always make and it kind of always just kind of stays in rotation. I use fresh organic romaine lettuce as well as a melody of different tomatoes. For my dressing, I like to make my own avocado lime dressing. So this is super quick and easy. All you have to do is go ahead and squeeze fresh limes. Then I take about half or whole of an avocado depending on how much I'm making and then go ahead and mash it and mix it inside. Once again, proving that I will probably use avocado in every single meal. I am making a avocado lime dressing and as I mentioned, it's, it has a lot of flavor so you don't need to do too much seasoning. But I like to add sea salt or cumin or onion powder or ginger just to spice up the flavor of the salad. And after mixing it all together, I'm going to continue to chop up some fresh greens. Right now I have the romaine lettuce, I have some um, different variations of tomatoes as well as some cucumber for crunch and some texture Another thing that I like to do is I like to marinate my cucumber sometime in vinegar or sometimes in salt pepper and lime and then add it to my salad 
After mixing the avocado lime dressing all on top, I then top it off with some arugula. And then to add some more texture, some fresh flavor, I add some, I add some unseasoned and unmarinated cucumbers, as well as some tomatoes and avocado. And it's quick, easy, and ready to eat. Another tip that I have for trying to find more plant-based recipes is Green Chef. Whenever I'm getting bored, I feel like I'm not really creative in the kitchen and they have a wide range of recipes that you can choose from each week. And they send the ingredients right to your door with the right measurements, you have the right amount of sauce, you have the right amount of grain, you have the right amount of vegetables. And in the box, Green Chef includes a variety of organic ingredients. Green Chef is also a USDA certified organic company. They have different meal plans ranging from keto, paleo, vegan and vegetarian, and balanced living. For a total of $80 off, go to greenchef.us slash findguru80 and enter code findguru80. All right, y'all, so that concludes my meals and what I've been eating this last week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget, if you guys are interested in trying out Green Chef, you guys can get $80 off by going to greenchef.us slash findguru80 and entering code findguru80. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bisous!